Is your anxious attachment style affecting your dating life? How can you tell? Well, do you ever wonder why dating feels like such a roller coaster? So one minute everything feels fine, it feels perfect, and the next you're anxiously waiting for a reply, feeling uneasy about where things are headed. If this sounds familiar, your attachment style might be playing a bigger role in your dating life than you realize. That's why I want to share with you how anxious attachment shows up in the dating phase and some key signs to look out for. And we'll also talk about what you can do to approach dating with more self-awareness and more confidence. So hi, I'm Kaylee Larkin. I help individuals who are frustrated and ready to give up on love to attract romantic relationships with more ease and trust and deep connection. Click that subscribe button to be notified of new videos and visit me at kayleelarkin.com to check out my courses and free resources. So anxious attachment, it's a relationship pattern where someone deeply craves closeness and connection, but often feels insecure about whether that closeness will last. So when dating this attachment style, it can make you feel vulnerable, like you're constantly on edge. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop, waiting for something to go wrong, even though right now maybe things seem okay. So in other words, when you're dating with anxious attachment style, you might spend more time worrying about losing the relationship than actually enjoying the present moment. You're highly attuned to any sign of distance and you're probably fairly attuned in general and that anxiety, it turns dating into a stressful experience. And dating shouldn't be stressful, right? So it should be exciting and fun. So how does anxious attachment actually show up when you're dating? Let's go through some common signs that might be affecting you. First, there's a constant feeling of wanting to know that the relationship is good. So do you often find yourself checking with your date just to make sure that everything's going okay? So maybe you send a text and immediately you feel anxious if they don't reply right away. So it's natural to want connection, but if you're seeking a constant confirmation of that, it can actually create tension in the relationship. And you might feel like you need to keep checking if they're still interested and that can make you feel even more anxious. And to make matters worse, you might start to read into the little things. So you get a short reply and suddenly your mind just starts spinning. So what does this mean? Are they losing interest? Like, did I say something wrong? So if you've been focused on these kinds of details, it might've made dating into a source of stress rather than excitement. So it's easy to fall into a cycle of trying to decode every text or conversation, which can kind of keep someone in a state of constant worry. So please understand one of the core fears of anxious attachment is being abandoned. You might have been worried that the person you were dating would lose interest or suddenly stop talking to you. And this fear could make it hard to relax and just enjoy the natural flow of getting to know someone. So instead you might find yourself always waiting for signs that the relationship is about to end, even if things are objectively going well. So when you're anxious about the future, it's hard to stay present. And this attachment style, people often struggle to enjoy the early stages of dating because they're so focused on where the relationship is headed. So instead of savoring the excitement of getting to know someone, you might be more concerned about whether or not they'll stick around. So finally, you might notice a pattern of chasing after someone who seems distant. If your date pulls back or becomes less responsive, your instinct naturally might be to pursue them even harder, trying to close that emotional gap. But this often has the opposite effect, so it can push the other person away even more. Now it's important to have boundaries around what you want in relationships, right? It's important to know how much contact you want, how much responsiveness you want, and to be aware of those internal boundaries. Now these behaviors don't just affect how you feel, they can impact your dating experiences and relationships too. So when you're anxious in dating, it's easy to overwhelm your partner with constant check-ins or requests for reassurance. Even if the person that you're dating really likes you, this level of intensity can sometimes be too much too soon. And without realizing it, you might be pushing them away by trying to keep them close. Interestingly, a lot of these patterns happen because anxious daters often find themselves attracted to avoidant partners. 
So people who would need a little more space and distance who are a little afraid of vulnerability. And it creates this push-pull dynamic where one person's always chasing and the other person's always pulling away. They're always retreating. And some people call this the anxious avoidant trap, and it can keep you locked in a cycle of anxiety and frustration. On the flip side, when you do meet someone who is consistent and just genuinely interested, anxious attachment can still create some challenges. So you might pull back or test the relationship to see, are they really committed? And that can sometimes sabotage a healthy connection without you even knowing it. So how can you approach dating with more confidence and more self-awareness if you do identify with these anxious attachment behaviors. So practice self-soothing. That means finding ways to calm the anxiety without relying on kind of constant reassurance from the person that you're dating. So simple techniques like deep breathing, meditation, journaling, those can all help you to manage your emotions and stay grounded. Also set realistic expectations early on because when you set them early on in dating, instead of waiting or expecting the person to fill in every emotional need right away, give that relationship time to develop naturally. Letting things unfold gradually can reduce some of the pressure that you might feel. And vitally important is to observe, not react. So when you feel triggered by something, whether it's a delayed text, a canceled date, just take a moment to observe your feelings instead of immediately reacting. You might ask yourself, okay, what's this really about? Are, are you reacting to the current situation or is this triggering some, something deeper? So most important is to focus on building your own sense of emotional security. This might mean working on your self-esteem or engaging in hobbies that make you feel fulfilled or surrounding yourself with supportive friends. The more secure that you feel within yourself, the less you'll need constant reassurance from others. So dating with anxious attachment, it can be really challenging, but it's possible to change the way you approach relationships. And the secret lies in recognizing your patterns and being self-aware so you can start to date with less anxiety and more confidence. And next time you find yourself overanalyzing a message from your date, take a deep breath and remind yourself that you're worthy of love just the way you are. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to go deeper, you might be interested in the Secure Attachment Rewire course for Anxious Attachment. And you can learn all about that on my website at kayleelarkin.com. Just click the courses link and click subscribe to be notified of new videos. And if you liked this video, you can help support me and help me reach more people by clicking that like button and even sharing it with a friend if you think that it might help someone. So this is Kaylee Larkin, wishing you a beautiful relational journey.